first real memory of the Olympics was the shots from Lillehammer in 1994. I think over 100,000 spectators for that games. And, you know, as a kid in upstate New York, watching those pictures, it was inspirational to me. And it, it made me realize that the sport that I was involved in, which by and large involved skiing around in the woods, that it had other elements, which included a ski race in Norway that had 100,000 spectators. So I think that was very inspirational to me and it's one of my first memories of, of the Olympics. So I grew up in a family that was big Olympic fans. My father was an Olympian. He competed in 76 and 80 on, in cross country skiing. So I think it makes a difference to come from a family like that because you see a role model in front of you on a day-to-day -day basis who did it. And that makes it that much more real and attainable in a way. That's great, Susan. Just chin up for me a little bit. I am so excited just to get out and ski in Pyeongchang because I've raced in South Korea for skiing twice and every single time it was really, really good organization. Tracks and everything were set really well and I'm just really excited to hopefully upgrade some medals that I got from Sochi in, in South Korea. I'm most excited about the, the opportunities that we have with US Biathlon right now. We have a depth on the team that we've never had before, both on the men's and the women's side. And for the first time ever, a U.S. biathlon team has a legitimate chance of winning a medal. 